Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be doing a little favorites of 2023. These are products that we've used basically all of 2023 and... Makeup products. Yeah, makeup products and... Maybe we, not all of 2023, but... We love them, so we're going to share them with you guys. We're going to start off with primer. Mine is one size. Mine is the Elf Skin Invisible Sunscreen. And I like this because it's like matte for my face and I have oily skin. So yeah, for me. same. Mine is matte and it helps with the um, oiliness a little bit. Next, we're going to go into what? Foundations? Yeah. Yeah. Foundations, I guess. So I have the Juvia's one. It's a matte foundation, once again, because I'm oily. And it's actually really matte and soft at the same time. And then my favorite foundation is the House Labs one. This is the House Labs Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. I have dry skin and it's worked really well for my dry skin, so that's why I love it. Mine is the Ilia True Skin Serum Foundation. I really like this one because it has a nice cinnamide in it and because it's matte and it works very well with my skin. So I also have a skin tint. It's uh, the Rare Beauty Skin Tint. I like it just because I feel like it gives me like a soft finish look when I put this one on. So I have concealers. I have two of them. Um, Hourglass. Uh, the Vanish Concealer and then the Huda Beauty Full Filter um, Concealer. I've heard I've heard really good things about this one, but I haven't tried it out. I got this mini one because I didn't want to spend fifty dollars on the big one. Yeah, it's expensive. And so I got the trial size, well, like the travel one, and then this one is the regular size. And I like both of them together actually. They're really good. You mix them together. Yeah, one of them is for like to conceal, and then one is other ones to brighten and then another face product for me is this say um sun glow um i really like it when i'm when i'm doing like a like a kind of like a no makeup makeup type day when mm -hmm. i'm doing light makeup because it gives me like a bronzy glow underneath and i really liked it there is another one that's just um i think it's called star glow and that one's just like white i guess and this one is sun glow because this one has it's, it's bronzy. bronzy and it gives you like a bronze look so you use it like in the bronzy areas yeah okay cool no actually oh. you use it all over my face Oh, Except okay. my under eye area. What's next? Um, oh, I'm gonna do my blush. Next on two blushes. I have two of them. Sorry, go. Oh, I was just gonna say, I think we have the same one. Oh. That's why. Well, I, yeah, I think we, we both have Rosy Posy. Yeah, Rosy Posy. I really like this color. I'm actually wearing it today. Same. Super but I'm cute. also wearing Blush Lily. A little bit goes a long way for sure. Definitely. And they're by Julius Place. The one I have is from Say, and it's in the color Chili. I don't know, I just feel like this goes with my skin tone very well. I like so that shade. It. It's really cute. Moving on to bronzers, I have this Ju... Sorry, I can't speak. Uh, the Juvia's Place Bronze Palette. Sometimes I mix them a little bit both together, or I just use the top one. I do use this bronzer as well, but... Um, it's just not my favorite. I don't think I found I I, don't, I haven't found like a favorite powder bronzer, but I have found my favorite cream bronzer, <laughs> and it's which also is from <laughs> yeah, it's also from Juvia's Place. It's the Juvia's Place uh, bronzer, and I have the shade Honey. I have the same exact one. <laughs> I know, <laughs> but I also like the Elf um, Halo Glows. I really like so those too. Those are really good and creamy, but I use those on days that I'm doing like a non-beat day. Mm -hmm. So, but this is like. A beat day for me. Yeah, I really like this. It does have like I think a little shimmer to it, like if you really look at it. But when you apply it, I feel like you can't. I yeah, you I don't can't, see a shimmer. You can't see the shimmer. So that's why I'm okay with it. Because if you could see the shimmer, then that would, that's not the vibe, you know. I also have a favorite powder one or like bronzer, and it's the Physicians one. And this is matte, and it smells. It smells like bananas or something, right? I don't know. People say the physician formula smells like bananas, but I don't know. It's just like coconut. Yeah, it smells like... It smells like coconut. Tropical. Tropical, yeah. Like sunscreen, but not like in a bad way. Mm -hmm. But this is my favorite powdered um, bronzer. Okay, running back to the blushes. This is powdered. This is my all-time favorite of 2023 blush. I use this one <laughs> like... I use this one like every day. Uh, whenever I did my makeup, this is the blush I was using. It's the Juvia's Place Volume 2. This is what it looks like, but I would use this bottom shade here. Same, literally. I ended up buying this. Um, I told you it was good and you ended up loving it. Oh, well, okay. Technically, my favorite favorite is Volume 3 or 4. They're in there if you want to pull oh. it out. <laughs> yeah, we have all of them. Volume 4. Four. I'm going to show them too. Yeah. This one's my all-time favorite because I love both of them. I love the pale pink and the like, 
like the hot pink so that's my actual favorite but i thought i grabbed that one but instead i grabbed this one but i've been using this one recently no i've been using i use this one like all the time it's my go-to no my go-to is the volume four but also on, on this like elf cheap one but i didn't bring it mm. moving on to powders i have pressed powders loose powders and face powders a lot of powders yes <laughs> So this is my pressed powder by Essence, Bright Enough Banana Powder. And then my flower one is my setting one, or my baking one. Mm -hmm. And then Sephora, which is the micro smooth, is for all of my face. And then my powder, I only have one finger powder, which is the Essence Bright Enough Powder, like the same one Anai has. I just really like it. I think it, it just smooths out my under eyes whenever I use it. And it brightens them too, obviously. Mine is also the flower setting powder. I just like it. I mean, it does its job. It hasn't done me wrong, so. I like how we kind of have a lot of the same products. Okay, moving on to setting spray. Um, this is mine. Oh, sorry. This is mine. This is mine. Okay, it's, which one's yours? So, obviously, theirs is the same, but mine is different. Mine is the Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist up to 16 hour wear. Mine is Stay All Night Blue Light Micro Setting Mist um, long, long Lasting Wear. But this is for oily skin because I used to use that one and it would leave my face really oily. I'm like, why? This is just like a natural finishing one. They do have a white one that's like dewy. Oh, so yeah. this is just more like a natural finish and then the blue one is a matte finish. Yeah, I remember one time I lost my blue one so I used Josie's green one and it looks so oily. So if you're interested in like purchasing these, just know that this one is natural, the green one is natural finish, the blue one is a matte finish, and then the white one is a dewy finish. Yeah. yeah. Moving on to eyeshadow. My little baby, my Patrick Ta, uh, Major Dimension number three. I like how she still has it in the in the box in the box <laughs> packaging. I don't care, and it has like the protective the and everything. I have it, oh. but it's full of fingerprints, isn't it? No, actually, because I still have. Yeah, you haven't taken the. Mirror. I haven't taken off the yeah. protector. Yeah, but I love, love, love these shades and this um this cream Gel. oh gel um for liner or yeah what? gel liner is really pigmented so you I'm only have to jealous use a little bit because this palette like in irl is beautiful but i don't know if it transcends to the camera but it's really pretty but this is my favorite for the eyes and then for the eyes for me i have this little thing can you see it can they <laughs> It is um, the Urban Decay Moon Dust. Um, so pretty. I know. So the shade I have here is Space Cowboy, and it's like the one that went viral on TikTok, and I don't regret buying it. I don't. I don't. What's it called? I don't regret jumping on the trend because <laughs> I actually really like this. So the one I have is also a Moon Dust from Urban Decay, but I have it in glitter rock. So it's like a purple with like pink glitter reflect in it and it's really pretty i'm obsessed with that one too this one and then actually we kind of purchased something and we're gonna try <gasps> out like all of these from the moon dust collection we bought the little palette that came out i don't know if it came out recently or not no it was like a couple months ago i haven't really tried it out honestly because we kind of kind of recently bought it so it's not one of my favorites just yet but it might turn into one of my favorites see. you know this comes with cosmic cowgirl cowgirl warrior cowgirl writer and emo cowboy and these are the colors Oh, so you got the second vo oh, volume because there's volume there's two, one, yeah. yeah, with with this one with Space Cowgirl, mm -hmm. and so I think that's the second Space one. Cowboy. Oh, sorry, Space Cowboy. Yeah, so there's two of these palettes, but we got this one because in the other palette they have this one, which I already have. So I was like, mm, try something new. Try right? like all new ones yeah. instead of trying only three new ones, basically. Exactly. Moving on to the last part of eyes, I'm gonna show my two recent mascaras that I've been on. One is waterproof, and then the other one is just regular. This one's by Essence. This one's Lash Like a Boss, not non waterproof, and it's then so green. <laughs> yeah. And then telescopic, which is waterproof, which is which is the one I've been on like recently at work. So um, I've also used the telescopic waterproof. I've been using it for like a couple of years now. So it's like your all-time favorite. Yes, yeah. this is my all-time favorite. I also have an all-time favorite mascara. So this isn't just my favorite of 2023. This is more like my all-time favorite, and it's the Guy High Mascara by Maybelline. But for me, it has to be waterproof because if it's not waterproof, then I don't like it. Yeah, if it's not waterproof, it doesn't hold my lashes. Sticking with the eye theme, this is 
my favorite eyeliner it's the essence lash princess liner but it's in the shade brown i literally wore it all the time i tried using the one size eyeliner eyeliner but it kind of dried out quickly so i was like it's so expensive to dry out kind of quickly and then this one also dries out obviously but it's cheaper yeah and it's like the same thing so i'd rather purchase this one than a more expensive one it's crazy though how it dried out so quick mm -hmm. i was very sad about it because it was expensive <laughs> And then I'm just moving on to my eyebrows. I have two favorites. This is to fill in my eyebrows. Well, a little bit of like sparse areas. And then this is my all-time favorite eyebrow gel. It's by Patrick Ta. And it's in clear. It's his eyebrow gel. Is that the, the full size? Mm, I'm not sure. I got this in a birthday gift. Like um, from Sephora. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then the eyebrow, eyeline, the eyebrow pencil is from Too Faced. I actually do have something for the eyebrows. I was like, I'll take it out. It would be kind of to pass it to me and I... It's the closest eyebrow gel. Um, I got it as a gift. I think it was for my birthday. It came in the uh, clean makeup bag, right? Mm -hmm. That you got for me. And I love it so far. I, I feel like, like... I like the packaging. Yeah, the packaging is cute too. I feel like with this, it doesn't leave my eyes looking eyebrows oh, sorry yeah my eyebrows looking like powdery or like stiff mm -hmm. the way the um the nyx one does i feel like that one or the elf one too so i didn't really like them but this one i've been using like multiple 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 a lot of times obviously <laughs> and it doesn't do that to me last thing on the list is lip products okay i'll start off all-time favorite is nyx um this is actually an eye pencil but it's like the color toe oh. <laughs> it's not even a lip liner it's a it's an eyeliner mm -hmm. but i use it as a lip liner and then recently recently i've been on this mac lip liner stone it's one of my favorites right now mac you have money no <laughs> and then for like gloss i've been on kosas for sure which is unlocked and then nyx butter gloss like top tier uh fortune cookies and then i have another one but I didn't bring that one. I'll start off with lip liners for me. So last year, I kind of discovered this lip liner brand called Nabby. And I've loved it ever since, basically. I haven't been able to find it here in the village. Here in the village where we live, obviously. <laughs> Only in LA. Uh, I found these in LA, actually. And you can or actually, I think you can actually order this brand online. But it comes with like a pack of like 20. Whoa. of like a variety of different colors or something like that but mm -hmm. i was like i don't need all of that mm -hmm. i would i would much prefer going in person grabbing the shades i would actually use you know but i have the shades mocha brown cafe and dark brown obviously they're like kind of the same shades but i like browns Whoa. okay and then the last thing i have is these two lip products this if you know me if you watched our videos before ever in the past you know this is my favorite product it is the milani fruit fetish uh, lip oil in strawberry melon. It has to be strawberry melon. If not, then I don't like it. Show them the one that has been read through. Oh yeah, this one's kind of new, obviously, as you can tell. And then what it really looks like, let me grab it. Look, you see the difference here? That's how much she loves it. Yeah, it's because you you know how you like dip it in with your lip liner and mm -hmm. just kind of all get. It'll mix. You guys don't clean it. It'll just mix. So that's why it looks like that. <clears throat> but the next product that I actually discovered last year as well is this product. It is the Ulta Beauty Weightless Water Lip Stain. I've tried other lip stains before and I haven't really liked them. But this is the first one that I tried and I actually really liked. Mm -hmm. And this is shade. Does it have a shade? I don't think it has a name shade. But it's like the super pink one. I think they have like a super orangey one. And then like a super red one. But this one's like the pink one. For me, I just discovered these last year it's the charlotte tilbury i got it as a little lip duo when i was four you know when you go to pay and then they try to get by get you to buy more stuff yeah. little, little minis. and i fell for it and i don't regret it because um this is in iconic nude and this one's in pillow talk and i don't usually wear nude lips i like wearing like reds and like dark purple she so, does. Like, colors like that like i have a bunch of stuff like that and this is the nudes i only like really like and you can tell i like it because the lip gloss is already here and i just got this like last year oh yeah i didn't even know it's like that. right here and i just got it yeah but that's all of our favorite makeup products from 2023 hope you guys like found some new products that you might want to try out this this year yes actually before we go what's one product you like you recommend that they should try this year just one product hourglass concealer the telescopic <laughs> mascara it's hyped 
I know, but it's worth the hype. Okay, I got mine. I was thinking real hard for a second. The Juvia's bronzer. I like it because the brush is like pretty thin and small, so you know it doesn't go everywhere. If you don't want to splurge on the fifty dollar one, literally get the the travel one, and it has so much product. Yeah, and like you can use this obviously to try out the product first. Yeah. What if you it doesn't work out with your you skin? You don't fully commit to wasting that fifty dollar yeah. one. But this. You have to buy it. Well, if you want to. <laughs> no, you, she said you have to. It's just like really good. It's like the one product from last year that I'm glad I found. Mm -hmm. But that's it for today's video. Yes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And we will see you guys next Friday with a new video. Bye, Bye guys. guys.